All right, guys, so today I'm going to go ahead and get right into the performance. Let's say the spectator could start off the trick by picking these two random cards from the middle. In this case, we're going to take your first card, the Nine of Clubs, and we'll place this somewhere in the middle of the deck, and then we'll get it mixed up like this. And then we can take your other card as well. Let's say we have the Jack of Diamonds, and we're going to go ahead and lose this into the pack, and then get it shuffled. So... Um, you guys are probably wondering what these two cards are doing off to the side, and let's say these are the two black aces, so in this case I have the ace clubs and the ace of spades, and what these are going to do is, I'll show you that if I take them, and you can see the bottom ace is able to flip over just like that, and I can do the exact same thing uh, with the top ace, let's say the ace of clubs, you shake it and it does the exact same thing, it'll change. Um, you guys are probably thinking that it's probably something to do with the shaking of the cards, uh, but I'll show you guys once more, I take the two face down cards and we shake them, and if I shake them a little bit, you can see now I actually have one of your selections. If I do the exact same thing one more time, I shake them up, and now you can see I have both of your selections. And this is a trick, guys, and if you want to do it, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. Alright guys, so to start off this trick, all you want to do is take out the two aces or two kings or jokers or something, and you can set these off to the side, and then what you want to do is have the spectator shuffle up the deck, or they can pick any cards they want. It's a completely random choice. So let's say these two cards from the middle. You show them to the spectator. In this case, we have the four of clubs and the eight of hearts. So from here, what you want to do is you can put them in the deck and bring them up any way you want to. So in the performance, what I did was I took one card, in, case the, in this case the eight of hearts, and all I did was double undercut it to the top which is pretty simple most of you guys already know how to do that but that's basically uh, what I'm doing I'm not gonna go too much into detail with the little stuff because this is kinda more advanced but let's say we have the first card on top and all I did with the second one is I put it on top and did a false cut and now we have both cards on top of the deck so at this point what you can do is you can introduce the two cards off to the side to the spectator and you can have them pick them up themselves and this is gonna give you time to just catch a pinky break underneath the top two cards and then you get a pinky break just like that and the spectator is going to be looking at these cards over here now when they're done you're gonna pick up the two cards and just put them face up on the break you're gonna take it from the break and come away and now you have a four card packet uh, from here you pick up the cards remember you're only holding it like this and you're gonna stick the deck to your left side and now what you do from here is with the cards in middle grip with your thumb at the bottom in your uh, ring at the top, you thumb over one card, leaving that on the bottom, and this is how you want to place the cards into your hand. You want to have your two fingers on the right of the cards kind of leaned over because we have a packet, a three card packet, and what you want to do is eventually slide over the two cards right here. These two face down cards, you want to slide those over by holding your thumb, uh, putting pressure on the top ace here and then using your fingers at the back, these two, and they're gonna pull those cards flush with the bottom card. So from the top, it'll look like this. You place the cards in the middle grip, you slide over. So now your thumb, your fingers should be overhanging, you put the packet on, your fingers should be overhanging, your thumb should be on top. Yeah, I put my index up here to just kind of like line up the borders, and you shake the cards and pull that bottom packet back with your two fingers and while you're shaking it you can cover up that and square these ones back up so from here you do the exact same thing you square these back up push over the other ace you shake you do the same exact thing again and now you have two face down cards so you square this up you tilt this as if you're going to do the shake change and that's what you do you kind of tell spectators you go okay so you might think it's just because I'm shaking the cards and as you do that you just flip over this packet so it's now face down and you're going to have this setup. So then from here you just deal over the top card and say look let's try to do this one more time with the cards face down and you shake it you pull their selected card over and they can say look well now it's changed from an ace to hopefully one of your selections and then you can do the exact same thing you peel over the top card shake and that's going to change into both of their selections. So what you have here is these two cards and you want to keep these kind of face up and open and from this position all you do is you go over to the deck drop them 
and then spread the cards like that and now you're going to come away clean with the two selections so this is the trick guys hope you guys like it and as always thanks for watching